You ever have a fever dream? <laughs> Not necessarily that you have a fever, but you have that dream where you go, you know, what I'm thinking, it, it just might work. And that's what we're talking about today. I've got something here I wanted to show you guys. I had an idea. I'm not saying it's a good idea or even a great idea. It's just an idea about using chrome vinyl wrap for cars on the anodized trim on anything probably after like, let's say 1969, 70 in pretty much all the makes. Everybody started going over to anodized trim. If you've got anodized trim on earlier cars, I apologize. I just know that by the early 70s, pretty much everybody was using anodized and at this point in the game, it just absolutely sucks. Uh, and so what we're gonna do today is I'm going to do a better attempt on the other side of this car to vinyl wrap the A pillar and the top of the roof section on the trim on our 75 Torino. I didn't do a good job on this side because I didn't prep it. I'm gonna go to the other side and we're gonna go at it. All right, so first order of business on this is I'm going to clean this entire area with some product that I, from a friend of ours. This is Sweet Patina's Citrus Bubble Car Wash Soap. Hopefully this stuff will do the job to get in here and clean up. We're gonna use this brush. We're working on a nicer car without the damage to the uh, a top paint job on it. I would probably be a lot more careful and would tape off back here to keep this from being an issue. But I've got schmutz down in here. This shouldn't cause me an issue. There are no pieces of dirt or anything inside of the brush. So we are, uh, should be okay with that. I'm just gonna squirt this stuff on, on this top section, and give it a little bit of a scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. This is really more about keeping the dirt away from my work area. Should I be doing this outside? Yeah, probably, but it's 102 degrees out there today. I'm not interested. You can see all that dirt coming out of the back there. Keep an ear out for that squealing I've told you about whenever you're doing paint work, uh, going in and correcting paint and trying to make it gloss up. If you hear a squeal, you know you're pulling dirt across paint. And then I'm gonna grab my brush or my towel here, clean that out. There are a couple of companies that make um, small testers for these older car paints. If you're interested in us doing a video on how to do some of these little repairs like that, let me know in the comments below and we'll do a video up on how to do minor paint repair. Although on this car, it really needs a major <coughs> paint repair. Okay, probably would want to one more application of it. There, on these cars, there is a interim piece that they shove between the front A-pillar trim and the top trim. So there's an actual small piece that goes in the middle of that. I'm not gonna mess with that piece. I'm not even gonna worry about it. If you have a car with a beveled insert on it, it becomes a little more problematic trying to do this. But I wanna get as much of that dirt out of there as I possibly can, so it'll because it will affect vinyl tape or the vinyl stuff when I lay it down. Now, what you should be using for this is a chrome product that is a automotive grade vinyl. This is something that's going to have the UV inhibitors and all in it that you'll want for doing this kind of work. One thing I will tell you is that um, it really requires a very clean surface. You'll want to go in and do some other cleaning, which I'm going to go over right now. Um, you can do a pre-cleaner. Pre-cleaner will work on this if you've got some available to you. If not, this stuff right here will pretty much take everything out of this. If there's any wax or grease on here, the acetone will absolutely nuke it. So I'm gonna pull the acetone out because that's something that everybody can get. Pre-cleaners, you have to go to a paint store to pick most of those up. This is available at your local home improvement center. All right, so basically I have a clean lint-free towel. This is a diaper. I use these all over the place. If you can get diapers that are from a local diaper shop that have been through the ringer a few times, these are really good for cleaning. They're lint-free 99% of the time, and uh, as long as there's no stains on them, <laughs> they're clean enough. All right, I got my acetone ready. 
I'll get you so high. Pour me off a little bit of acetone on the rag. I'm going to try to keep this off of my classy high dollar paint job. Now this is the black coming off of the trim piece here. That is not dirt. It will pull paint. And with the acetone, I'm going to let that sit for probably about 20 minutes, waiting on it to dry up. And I'm going to pay special attention. Ooh, tasting colors. I'm going to pay special attention to the very end piece here with the acetone because that's where you're going to do most of your stretching work and your pulling work. And you're going to want that area to be particularly clean so that the uh, vinyl tape will stick to it. You can see where it's actually pulling the single stage paint off the car too. Acetone is some bad dude stuff. Be careful with the use of it. All right. Now I'm going to let that sit for about 20 minutes <clears throat> and go outside for a little bit. Why do I see stars and planets? All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've cut this off of the vinyl strip I've got. We used a company called Vinyl Frog. I just bought it. It doesn't necessarily mean I approve or disapprove of this particular vinyl. So I made a little dent on here. Now there's two layers of vinyl here. You have the base vinyl and a cap, a clear that goes over the top of it. Actually three if you count the paper backing that stays on or you take off when you're pulling this out. I just laid my arm back on my work. I'm going to have to go back and put a little bit of acetone on that just to make sure that none of my oils get on there. But this end's not needing the acetone, so I'm going to go in and lay this right up against that line that this trim already has. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I would probably go in and set this on here. I have a little piece of masking tape that I stuck to my stool over here that I'm working off of. I'm going to lightly tack it there. All right, now the one thing you don't want to do is to touch the area that you're working on after you've acetoned the metal. Don't use the acetone on paint, as I've said before. I've got a spot where my elbow hit this back here. I'm going to probably need to go back in and lightly acetone this area down through here. Because that acetone will keep those skin oils from being a problem. I'm going to use my heat gun that I've got. This is just a bower that I picked up down at Harbor Freight. Um, a mild heat gun. It has settings from 1 to 7. Why it doesn't go to 11, I don't know. I'm just going to heat that area to make sure the acetone has dried out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel back some vinyl. I'm putting pressure on the vinyl on this low side here. I'm having to actually put downward pressure because there is an arc to this. So I'm putting a little bit of downward pressure on it to get that to set. I'll leave that like it is for right now. Now I'm going to try to go back up here and set this into the channel. Using my fingers all only for right now to do the set. These are just a couple of trim tools that I use on pretty much anything I'm doing that's like this kind of stuff. Uh, just basically plastic tools. Make sure your edges are nice and flat and clean. 
when you're trying to do sets like this. Now, like I said, there is a clear vinyl coating on the top of this chrome vinyl. And I don't know if this is going to work. This is an experiment on my part for sure. I'm going to grab my heat gun. Turn it up to five and run that along that channel. Biggest problem is going to be down here at the very end. And I'll get to that in just a minute. Now on this edge right here, I'm going to downward push with my thumb to get to roll that edge. All right, now I'm just taking this and I'm running this along the bottom edge to roll that over. And I'm going to have to cut back on some of this a little bit. Compared to what it did look like, this looks a lot like what anodizing looks when it's brand new and fresh. What you'll want to do is you won't put paint in these lines. You'll want to get some uh, 3M uh, tape stripe and like a semi-gloss or a flat black and put that back in here with tape stripe rather than trying to go in and paint it because the paint won't stick to this vinyl stuff very well. All right, I'm going to try cutting this out a little bit and going in and picking this and seeing if I can get the uh, clear to come off of it. I have to get my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. All right, I'm cutting down the top here to get rid of the uh, excess. I'm going to cut up and away at the back. I just leave it on there for now. Big problem you're going to have with stuff like this is if you've got an older paint job, there we go. This is the vinyl covering I'm talking about right here. It is, un <laughs> it is unfortunately coming off the part I've already cut. Looks like I'm not really picking tons of other color off. Some of these areas were already pretty light on color. Roll that back. Take my blade or my uh, trim tool and lay that over and in. There we go. Still not being able to pull plastic off like I want. Just pull this back out a little bit. There we go. Using a little bit of heat to see if I can make this lay in better. I got a pretty big bubble right here. And that bubble is not wanting to go away. That's going to be a problem. Fortunately, fortunately it's right there where the black's going to go. Sometimes you can get them to just fly away. So 
so to speak. They'll just, the heat will release them. Okay, now for the fun stuff. I'm gonna cut straight along this line here. You have a really good sharp blade when you're doing this. Dull blade, it's not your friend. Alright, I'd give myself a solid C- on that one for the first time. Not too bad, but uh, not my best work probably. I think I could do a little bit better. Ooh, sweaty even in here. The nice thing about this is this stuff is cheap. I could pull this right back off of here, re-clean it, and go at it again with some more product. I got like 10 bucks total with this stuff from uh, Vinyl Frog. There's things I'm learning from doing this, so don't look at it and say, well, I'm not going to do that because I, it looks like he just screwed that up and he's never going to be able to fix it again. That's not true. You can pull this back off, use a little bit of heat, it'll come right back off of here, clean it down with some more acetone and get going again. But try working on this front one again, see, or on this one to see what you got. But if you take a look at this, if I had the black tape to go down the center of this, I judge that most people walking by at a local cruise show are not going to look at that and go, wow, look at the mistakes he made up here, or gee, I wonder what's wrong with the, tr the chrome trim. So what I'm telling you is, you can get away with it. I think this would actually work pretty well, maybe even on the windshield chrome on the front, where you've got this stuff that usually takes a, just a tremendous beating on a classic car. Uh, Mustangs are really good for that, the 71 to 73s. You can use your original trim work, use this kind of stuff on a larger sheet maybe, and then you can get this stuff to where it looks really decent on the car. Just a thought. I'm going to go ahead and work on this one and see what we get with it. I'm not going to go all the way down into here with this. I'm not going to worry about that. So 
something to be mindful of right there is when you're sticking this stuff down you got another layer of it there it can grab it and run off with it so to speak We have to go in with a nice sharp exacto knife that's my second one trying this with and uh, trim this back on this edge a little bit more around here but other than that with the black tape back on there that will actually look pretty mint i'm not too unhappy with it well that's our show for this week folks be sure to be kind to each other love on each other treat each other nice you have a, guys have a great week and we'll see you next time on auto resto mod by the way, Cam is here today, but this is really, really not his bailiwick. He doesn't even like doing this kind of stuff. It's what I like to do. So I made him run cameras. There he is, running camera. <laughs> you guys have a great week. <laughs>